The idea is really to deliver uh, sensors that are specific applications, specific use case for cellular IoT. Yep. So precision agriculture, we're looking at a moisture sensor, things like that. We have, uh, again, a SparkFun load sensor for scales yep. or for measuring force in different environments. We have a distance sensor, which is good for people counters. We do some things with Bluetooth as well. We can do uh, Bluetooth remote scanners, Bluetooth uh, sensors, remote sensors, and we can do positioning where you can detect how far things are away over Bluetooth. Hello IPX, we are now at the very last day of CES. Somehow I feel like I've been here for four months. I think Bob feels like he's been here for four months too. Absolutely, this is my fourth month at CES. <laughs> so Bob is from Digi, which you would think of as, as a wireless connectivity company. Everybody knows Digi and you think, oh, what's disruptive? <laughs> Apart from the fact they have a horn. Bob has made the mistake of giving me a horn for this interview. I don't know why he's done it, but I can't help but use it. So Bob's going to show us how actually he's partnered with a whole bunch of people to give you a really simple solution to a bunch of sensors and then a dashboard so you can see what's going on and that's really fun and disruptive. So Bob, over to you. Well, thanks very much, Guy. And you Do know, you back? I gave you the horn with the, and I said I would cue the horn. I think you oh, missed you that part of that. Oh, okay. No, hang on to the horn. It'll be important in a, okay. a short amount of time here. So, so uh, thanks, Guy. I appreciate the or guy. I'm guy. sorry. Yep. But I'm you sorry. Guy. It's the last day of season. Guy, so and anything. we're in Vegas. <laughs> And uh, I appreciate you coming by to talk to Digi. We, we have been here all four days. And we're introducing our XP cellular modem in partnership with SparkFun. And what we've done is gone beyond the uh, component and built out a complete solution with SparkFun to enable edge to cloud sensor solutions. And we do that with SparkFun components. So essentially, we take the XP cellular module, uh, which has LTEM, Cat1, Cat4, NBIO2 capabilities, and put that, mate that with a SparkFun development board. Right. And they're quick sensors. It's a whole line of hundreds of sensors that connect up to a standard I squared C right. connector. So you, so what you've done is you created a whole system using your connectivity, which is what you sell every day. Exactly. You put a chip on a board. And then you've taken a, you, you, you've then chosen hundreds of sensors, which are automatically ready to go. Right. So whatever one of the, which, whichever one of these you decide that you like, you know you can connect that to this dashboard and see what's going on. For whatever particular use case. And yeah. now, now's the horn time. So when, oh, you, okay. when you blow the horn, you will see the noise level going up. Uh, and this is actually a valuable feature. Uh, Look, at that. Look at that. Noise, noise is an indication of of engine failure, motor failure, for predictive yep. maintenance, yep. Uh, intrusion, lots of different things, and even artificial intelligence and machine learning collecting background noise and starting to build training models around what's going on to detect uh, different changes. So we have lots of different things here. We have everything from a moisture sensor Can on a plant. we just go through them? Just go, go, go through yeah. the menu? Of, yeah, uh, absolutely. Of, 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 do, do I need the horn anymore? I think we can, we can let the horn go. No. Step no. up. Step away from the horn guy. <laughs> so, so we have everything from a moisture sensor uh, for agriculture applications. So, so, just, so, so just so that we're clear for, for, for our watchers and listeners, this is all the same system. This is exactly. The same system that you put together. So this one, 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 this one. This one, this one, and this one. Sorry, I can't help it. Are all the same system, and it's then connected to a different kind of sensor. So you've got right. click and go. You've got the solution. Whatever sensor you want, you can connect it to the cloud, go onto the dashboard, and away you go. And, and Guy, the important thing about this is that this is something that out of the box you can prototype your applications, get to a proof of concept in a, in a couple of days, very little programming, and you have a proof of concept and you're working with components. You don't need to worry about all the stuff that you've done. Absolutely, all available. And now you have a, a, a design that you can very quickly go from proof of concept to production.
So you don't have to make changes. You can use the code. And everything's available. And everything is readily so available. So you don't need to worry about, oh, can I get this bit? Can I get back that bit? It's all done. Exactly. And it's all available. By the way, all the SparkFun and, and Digi products are available through our distribution globally and their distribution globally. Although you can apply for them on IP Exchange. Most notably, DigiKey and Mauser. So you can order it and have it on your desk the next day. Very good. Very good. Or IP Exchange. Thank so, you, Bill. <laughs> so yeah, we should set up something. So so <laughs> I did. And, and and again, uh, the idea is really to deliver uh, sensors that are specific applications, specific use case for cellular IoT. Yep. So precision agriculture, we're looking at a moisture sensor, things like that. We have uh, again a SparkFun load sensor for scales yep. or for measuring force in different environments. Um, we have a distance sensor, which is good for people counters. Uh, it shows you know somebody in front of you or measuring how close things are without using uh, you know a, a, a measuring stick or whatever. Uh, we do some things with Bluetooth as well. We can do uh, Bluetooth remote scanners. Um, we can do Bluetooth uh, sensors, remote sensors, and we can do positioning where you can detect how far things are away over Bluetooth. So we have that application. Right, that's that one there. Exactly, exactly. Now, here's, here's an interesting one. If you need RFID reading, and if you're trying to detect uh, very quickly, you know, looking at shipments coming in or looking at scanning things, or even uh, a, a attendant system, here we, we're using uh, DigiID cards where we're uh, detecting the different Digi employees that are coming to work. And again, that's going out. This, look, this looks like my work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we're, you know, so we're using our, our RFID reader, again, going out over a cellular modem right. through our cloud and detecting the different employees coming to work today. Right. So all that's ready to go. So in a nutshell, if you've got an idea, you want connectivity, you want a dashboard, you want to just quickly go, quickly see whether this is feasible, you've just about got every single sensor that anybody could possibly want that connects to your ready-to-go board. Absolutely. And guy, the hits keep coming. I mean, we've got a heart rate monitor here where you just put your finger on there and detect it. Again, very low cost, very inexpensive for proof of concepts. Putting a heart rate monitor in something maybe you haven't thought of before. Uh, the ability to text uh, SMS messages. The ability to control a motor and relay and operate my friend Mr. XP over there. Yeah. So lots and lots of uh, whatever your application is, you can find something to get instantaneous proof of concept all about proof of concept so community if you're looking for proof of conceptivity and connectivity and every sensor anything you can ever think about sensing he's got a solution for you it's right off the shelf everything's ready to go same board for everything all the sensors and although you might apply for it through ipexchange.tech he's got a way that you can buy it tomorrow and get straight away and get going bob one more horn oh, excellent thank you Thanks very much, Guy. Thanks Stay for coming.